damn knuckle busting fucking son of a fuck. Okay, so let's say you just got your FJ, you find a snowy parking lot, and you want to go do some donuts. And then this happens. That, my friends, is the vehicle stability control. What it does is it uses your anti-lock brake system to transfer power from the wheels that are spinning to the ones that have traction. And it'll also reduce your engine power. No donuts? No donuts. Now on the later models, they actually have a switch where you can turn off the vehicle stability control. On our 07 model, we don't have one. But that doesn't mean you can't disable it. I've got a few ways to do it we're gonna show you. To do this first one, first you have to turn off the ignition, then get out of the truck, get under the hood, and there you'll find this connector right next to the master cylinder. Unplug it. Then get back in the truck, start the engine, and you should see this. And your VSC, or vehicle stability control, is disabled. Now the second method is to take that connector that you unplugged, cut the purple wire going into it, Splice in a simple toggle switch, run the wires into the cab, and there's a really nice convenient spot to mount that switch underneath the steering wheel. Now with this, you don't have to get out under the hood and unplug anything, but you'll still need to turn the engine on and off to activate it. Now a third way to do it, the way we're going to, is to actually hack into the wiring harness underneath the dash and uh, supply power to a specific wire down there. What this will allow us to do is turn the VSC on and off without having to turn the ignition on and off. Now I didn't come up with this idea. I actually learned about it on a website, fjcruiserforum.com. And if it doesn't work, don't blame me. Also, I know there's gonna be some of you out there that's gonna be questioning why I wanna do this. Why do I wanna turn this off? Why do you want to turn it off, man? It's going to make you make it very, very dangerous driving your vehicle without that on, man. You shouldn't do that. You must never mess with the vehicle stability control in your vehicle. Well, you know, there's liability issues if you were to get in an accident. And, just... and we would love to hear all of those comments. You can get a hold of us through www.mindyourowndamnbusiness.com. Now, as far as the switch that's going to supply the power to our hacked wire, we could just use a normal toggle switch, that's fine, but we want a more finished off look, so we're going to use a switch that looks exactly like the switches that are in the center console. Now, on the switches that come in the later models to turn off the VSC, that it actually says off, because when you push the button in on those, it actually turns it off. But with our hack, when we push the button in, it'll actually be turning on the stability control. So we wanted this one to say on instead of off. So we had it custom made by a company named uh, ch4x4.com. Go there, uh, 30 bucks later, you'll get a switch just like this. Now it just comes down to where do you want to put the switch. Uh, we're going to put ours here. So this, you just reach in the back here and push this blank out. Take your switch and push it in. Simple as that. Now we just wire the back. Okay, so this is what you're looking at. Um, there's a lot going on here because I've got a bunch of extra switches up here for lights and stuff. That's what these plugs back here are for. I just unplugged them to get out, get them out of the way so you could uh, actually see a little bit better maybe. This is the plug that's going to go to our new switch. The black one actually goes down, down by the shifter back here and it has an eyelet soldered onto it and I just have it underneath a bolt that holds the shifter down. That's your ground. Now this wire right next to the ground, one of the two red with orange stripes. This one is for your uh, dash lights. It comes on when your lights are on. Uh, the little dim light inside your switch. And that goes around and it actually comes right here. And I have it tied into the factory wiring harness 
the green wire. You'll see on all these plugs there's a green wire going to each one of the factory plugs. That's your dash lights. So I just have a, I stripped away a little bit of the insulation, wrapped it around there, soldered it, and then put this uh, liquid electrical tape on it. Now the other one, this red wire, the third one there, see? This one actually goes to our hack, so it goes underneath the dash, up nice and tight so it's not by your feet, and all the way over to the kick panel by your left foot. That's what this one is. Now this one goes to your fuse box. The green one goes to your fuse box. And again, it goes down and around, tied up nice, goes all the way over to your fuse box. Then it just simply, plug, whoops, simpler than that I hope. Yep, there we go. And it just plugs into the back. Okay, now, in order to thoroughly confuse the hell out of you, I've changed the color of the wires from the switch over to here on this side of the truck. I changed the green one, the power one, to red. This is going to go to our fuse box right here. Okay? And the red one right next to it that's going to supply the power to our hack I've changed to a blue color wire. This may not make sense to you, but I had to do it in order to keep uh, all my stuff straight. Okay, here we are at the fuse box. And what I did was I just spliced in an Ada fuse that I picked up at the automotive store. And I'm gonna plug it into this plug right here. This one has the power on only when the ignition is on. Okay, this is what you're going to find back here, and the wire we're going to tap into is on this top plug, and it's this blue wire with the yellow stripe right up here at the top. Okay, here goes. Now I'm going to leave plenty on either side of this cut, just in case I have to splice it back together. Ah, that hurt. Now this is the what this is the end that we want to supply the power to. This end over here we're just going to leave my 12 volt power from my switch going through and hooked up to the blue with the yellow stripe. And this one is just dangling there, the other end that I cut. So plug it in back in and with any luck at all this will work. All right, let's try it out. I turn it off, the lights come on. And in two wheel high, I can spin all over the place. But the analog brake system is also turned off, so just keep that in mind. So I just hit the button again, stability control goes back on, we're good to go. It works.